in 2003 that's Richard Thompson happy days and old lang syne what a pounding tune to begin the garden sessions with this week gardensessions.co.uk and uh, it's our first of our weekly shows it's not a festival show yet but we will be going weekly from here on out I'm Jack Foster and with me the folk scene's very own Popeye and Olive (laughs) (laughs) talking of course of Tom Harland and Dave the Angles Gimbal. I'll be Popeye. Oh, I, I knew do, you'd I, bag see Popeye. Angles. I enjoy spinach and I'm a sailor. <laughs> yeah, you're a bit of a... I always thought you were a bit of a sailor man, Angles. There's no call for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Angles. Um, anyway, th- this is the Garden Sessions. Garden Sessions at Code UK. You can contact us at podcast at garden sessions at Code UK. We're also available on Radio Britfolk, radiobritfolk.co.uk and 98.8 FM in the Edinburgh area, Leith FM. Where, Where Leith, Leith lives. lives. I've got them trained nicely, <laughs> you see. <laughs> Angles, what's on this week's show? 
Uh, we've got all the usual stuff. We've got the folky news. We've got featured artist, which I believe is Fraser Fifield. Tom? Fraser Fifield, yeah. You um, believe? No, it is Fraser Fifield. He was. A, I interviewed Fraser Fifield up in the, at the Hebridean Celtic it. Festival. Um, he's a great low whistle player. Um, also plays a soprano sax. Um, yeah, part I think we can look forward to a bagpipe tune played on, on a, saxophone. a saxophone, on a wee saxophone. Yeah, so that's yeah. something to look forward to. It's the first. Um, for the guy we've the also sessions. got uh, we've also got the letters bag and the download chart, and of course another Dave's angle as well. Is it going to be a happy one this time, Angles? That, after that was the promise you made last one, time. Last It time. was the promise made. I have to confess, I have failed in my mission. I haven't got a happy angle. Oh, angles! But I think you'll forgive what? me because it's a nice angle. But and angles, and you made us a promise last time. A, ni- a nice angle. So Wait till you hear so it. So it's and not then depressing. Judge. It's not depressing. Okay, good. As long as it's not depressing. Can you give us a hint? Uh, yes, I can. Um, it's it's a sequel to another tune. A sequel, a sequel to another tune. Yeah. To to what tune? To another previous angle. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Would that be too much? Would that be too clues? That'd be a bit. That'd be too clues. <laughs> sequel to Cobbler's Daughter, maybe. Hmm. Well, well, there's so many. It could be. <laughs> Cobbler's well, nephew. It's <laughs> not a sequel to a, a really unhappy song, though, with a really sad ending. No, not really. Well, no. I think we've established that, Jack. No, we haven't, though. Well. Anywho. <laughs> what else is there? That's everything. No, oh, there's all the best in new song I do in traditional folk music as well. <laughs> as ever. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, um, next tune that we're going to hear. Um, next tune um, is uh, by a band called Rallying. Um, Tell uh, us about Rallying. Well, yeah. Um, I ran into um, a girl called Marika up at the uh, Hebridean Celtic Festival, who was up there taking photos. Um, she was she was also had a press pass. She was taking photos of the various shows and a member of the elite, it, the folk she, elite, the folk elite, yes, indeed, in, in <laughs> Stornoway. Um, and and she uh, she's the lead vocalist um, with this band, Rallying. Um, also plays uh, Monday nights in the TAS, I believe. She leads the session there, mm. um, and they're a really good band. Um, unfortunately, not. W- that well known really but uh, but I believe you reviewed um, their album um, which is called For No One and, and Everyone um, Indeed you're obviously familiar with it um, <laughs> Yep you can uh, you can hear, look, read Jack's review on uh, gardensessions.co.uk It's a very good album although I, I do stand by what I said in the review which is r- really unfortunate the, the producer is not credited anywhere on the sleeve of the album and it's a very well produced album That would irk you as a producer yourself does, Jack yeah. I'm sure um, Anyhow this uh, I just want the credit <laughs> This song is called uh, uh, The King of Prussia If you have the time then I have the will to tell you the story the men speak of still Concerning John Carter, the Prussian king Owner and host of the old Prussian men Now John was in free trade between Benzins and France He led the excise a merry royal dance Took orders from no one, sent him with gold To run in fine brandy like wise good Told. Then one night by treasury his log ran dry The customs were waiting in rocks close by His boat load was taken and much blood was spilled The bond house was soon to the roof timbers filled But not one to flinch from impossible task Young Carter for volunteers then did he ask And night things that crawl From the gloom of the building There came a soft call 
Soldiers outnumbered and no quarter rest. It's a way of the mirror with battle and cask. It's been many years, young God along dead, but the forward still speak of the life that he led. And the seas are to score us to the words that we sing. Let's raise now our glasses to the Prussian. King of Prussia from the album For No One and Everyone, released last year. And for more information on that, uh, rallying.co.uk. Fantastic band and a fantastic album, well worth listening into. Um, in a moment, it's the Folk and News, but um, for the time being, Angles, tell us where you can hear the garden sessions and how you can contact us and all that kind of If you want to contact us, you want to go to podcast at gardensessions.co.uk. And if you want to listen to us, go to gardensessions.co.uk or Radio Britfolk, radiobritfolk.co.uk. So much happening at gardensessions.co.uk. Or you can get a hold of us at 98.8, anywhere in the Edinburgh area, Leith FM. Where Leith lives. See, I've got him trained as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, Tom. It's news! It's folk! What is it, Tom? It's the folky news! Mm-hmm. And the Folky News brought to you this week, as ever, in association with Paddy Bart's Wee Folk Club. This is the summer, this is the festival, so we don't have wee folk clubs at the Oak, but we've got festival folk at the Oak. Every night from 8.30 to 11 o'clock, around 11, and we've got people from all over the place. In week one, uh, which is end of July and beginning of August, I've got David Ferrard on the uh, Wednesday, that's the 1st of August, uh, David Ferrard with friends, then David Lutz and Bob Cheevers, that's Thursday and Friday, uh, both from America, Jill Bowman, uh, our uh, singer-songwriter and Burns interpreter from Edinburgh, is here on the, the Saturday, Landa Mason from England are up on the Monday, and Tom Cleland over from uh, the Clyde Valley will be here uh, on the, the Tuesday. Well, that's me told. Um, and that's just the first week. That's just the first week. Paddy Bort's on his uh, festival bicycle. Um, and, <laughs> 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 and I believe the garden sessions will be covering... Jack, you're taking on David Ferrard. Um, I will be. This, I'll be taking on uh, Jill Bowman. Looking forward to that. Um, we'll be bringing you reviews and interviews and all kinds of things over the festival. It's a the packed itinerary. Month. Um, but this is the Folky News. Um this is the, these are the headlines. In the past week, news emerged that 2007 Edinburgh Fringe venue Understairs Arts has gone into liquidation. The companies at Euroscot and the Royal Scots Club are now displaced. Thus far, Understairs Arts have been unavailable for comment. However, over 100 acts have been left without a venue for this year's Fringe and have begun the unenviable task of attempting to recuperate lost funds. Garden Sessions co-presenter, former featured artist and multiple number one Frank Burkett was one of the artists billed to play live music at uh, live at Euroscot, one of Understairs Arts venues. Jack spoke to Frank yesterday and asked him how he'd been affected by the debacle. Uh, basically, it was a really good offer to begin with. Uh, it was £50 for a week slot, uh, an hour old gig on the marquee, and it all seemed a bit too good to be true, and I think my suspicions were always always present and um, I never felt that I was particularly safe and then uh, lo and behold about two weeks before the festival begins we all get an email saying that they've gone into liquidation and um, you know we were all sort of got a bit panicky <laughs> You've been lucky in that you've got another venue though Indeed yeah um, I've been helped out by the people at Sweet Venues on the grass market um, in the Edinburgh College of Art and the Apex City Hotel uh, they've been absolutely fantastic they gave me a discounted price and I've Unfortunately, you know, I've, I've lost the days performing, but to be honest, beggars can't be choosers, and I've come up uh, smelling the roses because uh, it's actually really, really good. It's the 11th to the 16th of August in uh, at 6:30 in uh, Sweet ETA, which is the Edinburgh College of Art on the Grass Market. So uh, I'm very lucky to have found another venue. Uh, have you or any of your fellow um, performers at Understairs Arts had any luck in recuperating funds? The news on the grapevine is that Euroscot, the venue that I was going to be performing in, is actually still running. 
and uh, some of the most of the performers that were there are going to carry on. I just can't run. I basically wash my hands of the whole thing. But um, there are a few performers that I've been in contact with who um, have had a real busy week um, trying to sort this whole mess out. But they have actually managed to either keep their spot during the, the week that we're originally going to do it at Euroscot, or find other venues such as Sweet and. Um, venues and the Roman Eagle Lodge, I believe, as well, and all these all these venues. So they have actually been all working hard. Most the uh, the general attitude is that people are, the show must go on, and they'll do anything to try and recoup their losses. Well, thanks very much, Frank. We'll see you next week uh, for the first of the Fringe episodes, um, which mm. are going weekly through August. I'm definitely I look forward to. It. Okay, thanks, Frank. Cheers. So the show goes on from for Burkett, and as ever, Frank comes up smelling of roses, um, and he'll be. He's play- good at that. Yeah, he is. <laughs> and he'll be playing at Sweetie ECA at six uh, thirty PM. That's from Sweet ECA, not Sweetie. No, <laughs> Sweet Jack. Okay. Um, from the eleventh to the sixteenth of August. To book, call o eight seven o two four one o one three six. That's o eight seven o two four one o one three six. It's well worth checking out, Frank, and his amazing new fiddler, Chris Stone. Indeed. Um, and there's more information on that at gardensessions.co.uk. Moving on with the folky news. The BBC Radio 2 Cambridge Folk Festival came to a close on Sunday, following one of its most successful years yet, with every ticket sold out, to the point that people were advised not to travel to the festival if they didn't have a ticket. The festival tried to minimise the effects of ticket touts by urging those who had bought tickets but couldn't make it to see a refund and make their tickets available though as ever the touts will have benefited no doubt no doubt Cambridge Folk Festival is one of the premier music events in Europe and one of the longest running and most famous folk festivals in the world it is renowned for its high standards intimate atmosphere and wide definition of what might be considered folk this year's lineup was truly a who's who of folk music including Joan Baez Nancy Griffith Steve Earle Kate Rusby Show of Hands Oyster Band Martin Simpson, Solas, Shugal Nifty, Brian McNeil and Chris Drever, to name but a few. Um, keep up to date with all the latest folky news at gardensessions.co.uk forward slash news. And that's the folky news. Mm-hmm. Cheers, Tom. A uh, quick reminder of what's coming up on the show. Still to come, we have Dave's Angle. We've already had a hint that it's a sequel to, well, to, to a folk song. Um, but... Um, it may be a previous angle. Are you giving us anything more at this stage? Mm. I'm not giving you anything <coughs> now, but I'll, 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 I'll throw you another clue in a wee bit. You'll throw us another clue. Throw we us can, a bone from We can look forward to that. We've got the official Garden Sessions download chart in just it's moments away. Will Neil Thompson still be at number one? We've also got the letters bag and our featured artist this week, Fraser Fifield. But for the time being, angles entertain us. The official garden session download chart. The official garden session download chart. This is the official Garden Sessions download chart based on free downloads from gardensessions.co.uk. It's so entertaining. At 10, it's a non-mover for Random Scanton with Hush. At 9, it's the first re-entry for Frank Burkett with What yes, She Would Say. the video. At 8, it's another re-entry for Claire Mann and Aaron Jones with Across the Western Ocean. Oh, the times were hard and the wages low. I'm me and you at you found. Oh, the rocky mountains are mine. Across the western ocean Across the western ocean at seven, like a bolt from the blue, it's another <laughs> re-entry for Behold the Field of Megaliths. The pagan lords are back. Where did that come from? With Do you know anything about <laughs> Behold the Field of Megaliths, Tom? Oh, I, I know various stuff about them. They're akin to a, a leaf floating on a stream of astral thought. Where did you get that from, Tom? They're blurb. <laughs> <laughs> Angles continue. At six, it's down two for the Laurie Watson three with When Maggie Gangs Away. At five, it's a non-mover for Andy Chung with The Penny Falls. At four, Coming it's another re-entry. Some piece of luck. <laughs> John Dignan with Diamonds yeah, Dignan. At three it's down one for Martin Boland oh. with Dreams in Blue She wears a coat of many colours Everyone the brightest you Shimmering silver and burnished bronze That's only how it seems to you Cos when she dreams at 
two, climbing like a rat from the sewers. It's up one for Sinead <laughs> Connolly with Eileen O. A rat from the sewers? Angles. <laughs> what can I say? I, she is my climbing, opinion though. is She is climbing. climbing. Yeah, up one for Sinead Connolly. I don't Sinead know how Connolly. rats climb, though. <laughs> Not like that. Not up the garden sessions download chat. <laughs> Who's at one angle? Come well, on. Well, he's either disappeared or he's still there. Which has he done? He's still there. It's a non-mover hey. for Neil Thompson with the Lakes of Poncher train. Mm-hmm. It was on one bright March morning I bid New Orleans adieu Took on the road to Jackson Town My fortune to renew I cursed all foreign money No credit could I gain Which had my heart to long and far The late of a poncho train I stepped on board a railroad car underneath the morning sun We rode and rode till evening time till I lead me down again No stranger would be from me to the darker Towards me came And I fell in love With a Creole girl By the leagues Of a poncho train I said My bonny Creole lass My money It is no good If it wasn't For the alligators that sleep here in the wood Are you welcome here, kind stranger? Our house is very plain But sure we'd never turn a stranger out On the shores of the pond's train So she took me home to her mammy's house and treated me right well The hair upon her shoulder In jet black ringlets fell To try and paint her beauty I'm sure it would be in vain For handsome was my Creole girl As the links of the poncho train I asked her if she'd marry me She said I'd never be For she do have another Who was far away at sea She said that she would wait for him And true she would remain Till he'd return to his queen by the links of the poncho train So fare thee well, my Creole girl Whom I will see no more I'll never forget your kindness In the cottage by the shore And at each social gathering A flowing Glass I'll drink And I'll drink her health to my Creole girl And the links of the poncho train The Garden Sessions Listener's Choice That's Neil Thompson, the Lakes of Poncho Train Good choice, good choice Two number ones in a row, can he hold on to it? I wonder. It's a fantastic tune. Um, and if you're intrigued about where you can see Neil um, every Friday night downstairs right. at the Royal Oak, 
um, is the place to be. Downstairs is the place on a Friday night. <laughs> and on a Saturday too. And on a, well, on a Saturday, yes. It's wonderful, but Neil doesn't play on a Saturday. Anyway, <laughs> we've talked enough. It's time for Dave to sort of spill the beans in the angle. But I think he, he still wants to keep us in suspense for a bit. You, you, mm. You've been holding off on the second clue. Um, spill it, Angle. Well, if you remember, Tom, uh, that you got a wee bit of an interview with Archie Fisher at Stonehaven. Mm, I do, yes. Well, if I just can play a wee bit of that just now, it'll mm. maybe give you your second clue. Angle's at the controls. Yeah, Jack, shift up. And one of the, your most well-loved songs is The Witch of the Westmore Land, mm. famously recorded by and the late great Stan Rogers in 1979, I believe. And, uh, also recorded by Barbara Dixon. Oh, that's true. That's and she's actually going to be working it in her next tour as a live song. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's got a very unusual story, that song. Um, I, was, I was wondering what your inspiration for writing that song was. Uh, Have you heard the sequel? Is there a sequel? There's which which two? Yeah, there is. It, it kind You're of playing that tonight. No, I won't be playing it tonight. It's just uh, it's just been recorded by a, a Californian bluegrass band of all. They heard me play it at the Stan Rogers Festival at Council. Uh, it's very symbolic, and if you ha- almost have to hear this, the the sequel to understand the whole balance of it. Mm. But uh, basically, it came out of a legend uh, that a painter told me about in Windermere. At the very end of the lake is a big rush bed, and deer used to swim across this rush bed. And when they came out of the the water, the reeds were in the hay and the antlers. And the myth came about a female son- centaur that used to come out of the lake, but it was in fact probably roe deer, uh, roe deer stags yeah. with uh, with long strands of weed in their hair. That's a fantastic song. And, uh, well, I'll better let you get away to do your sound check. And um, good luck for the concert tonight. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for joining us in the garden sessions, Archie Fisher. Nice to meet you, Tom. It's true. Archie Fisher is such a legend that he actually keeps an orchestra in his pocket <laughs> for whenever he talks legends. But Angles, <laughs> am I right in thinking that we're going to be able to hear the sequel I to did, The Witch I did some research. At last. I've, I've gotten a hold of Witch 2. Recorded Witch by two. Archie Fisher. Recorded, no. By as Stan he says, Rogers. Not recorded by Archie Fisher. Not recorded by Stan by Barbara Rogers. Barbara Dixon. Not recorded mm. by Barbara Dixon. It's recorded by, I believe it's the band he talks about, The Waybacks. The, the way only recording I could get a hold of. Mm. And this is the sequel to Witch this of the Westmore Land. It is indeed. I'll do a quick recap of that before I go into the angle as well. <laughs> okay. okay. Are we going to hear that now then? Yes, we are. <laughs> the Waybacks, The Return. Yeah. Long was the hour for the valiant night that would ne'er be sick or slain lonely the bower in the candlelight with neither kith nor kin storm clouds over the full moon raced as he swung to the dapple grey and man and horse to the westward faced on the eve of an all saints day of his noble steed Gone to their graves are his brindled hounds that were never matched for speed Freed to the wind were his grey hawk's wings never to be seen again Lost were the songs that the young men sing as they ride over the plain the f- 
flames of the morning sky as the burning gates of hell over his breast on the mantle white the rowan shield burned red and there in the rays of the dawning light the berries burst and bled Three times round again, 
And over the lake with his hounds at heel And his good grey hawk in hand Rode the knight of the blood red rowan shield And the witch of the west merland That's the Waybacks, the return from their album Burger After Church one of the few recordings that exist of um, Archie, Fischer's, Archie Fisher's sequel to his classic Witch of the Westmore Land. Um, I don't know if it's the only recording, but it's the only one we could find. Um, angles, Dave, whoever you are, what's your angle? Well, firstly, as promised, a quick recap of Witch of the Westmore Land. Basically, there's been a battle, there's a knight, he's lying, nearly dead, and the animals start talking to him, and they say, go and find this witch, she's down in the in the, in the lake, go and, uh, and find her, and she will be able to heal you. He goes down to the lake, the witch comes out, and she heals him, and he rides off into the sunset, perfectly healed and immortal. The witch is half woman, half horse. Though, she is indeed, yeah. This was the angle in episode three or something. Like, it was a long time ago anyway. Yeah. Um, but anyway, on to the return. Skip forward about, I don't know how many years, but a fair few years. He's immortal, so it could be hundreds. It could be as long as you want. And the knight's there, and he's Although old, he? and he's withered, and he's, he's never been sick. He's never been hurt. Uh, because obviously he's immortal. He can't be. Mm, be useful. Um, but at the same time, none of his, none of his too, friends... Though, I've got to sleep with a half woman, half horse at some point. Just for the immortality's sake. Yeah. Oh, right, okay, right. it's not... A, it's, it's not it's actually not just a... Yeah. No, 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 not just a... Like anyway, we'll gloss over sort that. Of desire. The curse, apparently, though, is that is that he's there. It's a long time hence, but none of his friends or family are there because they've all obviously aged and died Perished. or been killed in the battles and things like that. And he gets he, he gets this sort of... Uh, uh, this sort of need to go and see the witch. Does he get know? a hankering for some half woman, half horse... Loving Tom. Well, he, he's he's <laughs> returning. That's you know he's he's returning to to, to to where to where he became immortal. You know, uh, and um, his horse from the first song is dead, and his hounds are dead, and his hawk's gone, and all the young men who are still Why are up they for not the, granted immortality because they didn't have sex with the half woman, half horse check. Mm. I'd have thought the horse might have. Anyway, look, uh, look. <laughs> let's, let's not go there let's again. We've been it. there once. Yeah. <laughs> But it, all, all, the, all the young men that are still able to fight and stuff like that, they've all ridden off and their songs are sort of disappearing into the distance. And he's just there with his, his round shield, you know, kind of emblazoned on him because it's been so long. Folky it's like shield. the sign of immortality kind of thing. His blood red round shield. And he, Yeah, and he rides off to the west. He rides off back to where he first met the Witch of the Westmore Land. And he meets uh, the crows, and they're basically saying, ha, 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 get still old talk. kind of thing. Yeah, they can still <laughs> talk to him. It's this sort of link to the, 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 the spirit world of immortality and talking to animals kind of thing. Mm. So anyway, he goes back to see the witch. And it's all a bit ominous. He goes back to see the witch, and he gets there, uh, and um, the owl says to him, outside the pond, the owl that he talked to from the first song says to him, look, the witch, is she's asleep. She's in the bottom of the pond. You, you know, you're going to have to wake her up. Um, and... Uh, so he goes to the to the woods and he gets a bit of the golden rod which he used to wake her in the in the, mm. in the witch of the Westmore land. So he doesn't but just sling in an alarm clock. No, no, that's but the golden rod's all withered as well. Obviously, been a long time, so mm. he has to grab you know rotten old scrapings of it. and He throws them onto the onto the lake and it and it works. The witch comes out, but the the horse that used to be jet black is now kind of flecked with grey and looks a bit old. And the maiden part of her, her hair's now white and she's a bit haggard and she, mm. she looks tired and she kind of says to the knight... So she doesn't have immortality then? Well, it, she can she's ageing as well. Mm. Okay. Um, and basically she says to him, you've kind of, you've woken me up here, what's going on? You know, what's, you know, what's, what's the deal here? Uh, and he's asking her, well, what's, I'm, I'm getting old, I'm getting tired, what should I do? And she says to him, well, you can't heal the wounds of time, you know? I can heal your wounds, I can make you uh, impervious to harm, mm. but everyone has their time at some point. You know, you have to mm. die. Mm. So why don't you know? get down off your horse, bring your hawk and hound who have magically, they've appeared, they're kind of ghostly, they're there, they've been long dead, but now it's all time for them to sort of travel to the spirit world. You know, come with mm. me, get on mm. my back. That's a folk song. Mm. Yeah. So he gets down off his horse and he jumps onto the Witch of the Westmoreland's back and she's uh, saddled in 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 the 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 blue veil and the and the silver chain from the previous song and stuff and they yeah. kind of 
ride off over the lake into oh. the spirit world together. This is a happy This angle. is a happy yeah. ending. That's it's not happy. Well it's done. a nice no, ending. It's, a, you know? it's happy. Well, it's nice. If it was happy, there'd the be a big party. The Witch of the West will land in the night, go off into the sunset. Beautiful scene. lyrics as well. Yeah. yeah. What's the moral, Dave? The moral is that eventually, you know, you have to you have to die. Everyone has their time, but it's not something to be afraid of. You know, it's a good thing. Mm. It's a, it's the next step in the journey kind of a thing. Good, good, moral. good solid angle, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> See, I got away with Enjoyed it. Enjoyed that one. That was good. Yeah. <laughs> Dave, is that your angle? It is indeed. Mm-hmm. It's time. Go! Sessions I don't think I've read a letter for a good while, so I'll go first. Dear Garden Sessions, we're so happy you covered with me tonight, um, and it was a bit of a thrill hearing Dave commenting on it. Just between ourselves... Oh, so it's not oh dear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what have you done? We're breaking the sacred... <laughs> well, you've, you've started so you're finished. The sacred I've, pact I've of a savage I've cat. got to finish because listeners will just have to know... But um, we imagine the woman is an ex-prostitute, the bloke is an alcoholic, and the man who shoots her is an ex-John, which I believe is um, uh, a guy who goes to prostitutes. A John. Uh, apparently okay. you know more about yeah, this than Tom. I know, I, I, I know I, it from I, my I, theatrical the days. Oh, okay. My theatrical days. Was, days yeah. It's in a script of some sort. Not a very good one, if I remember. Um, but anyway, it's a good song. A story, telling, a, a story song to slit your wrists indeed. And the message for us was to make the most of the good things in your life because you never know what's going to happen. You could end up like the poor bugger in the song. And that's from Jenny Savage of Savage Cass, who were the last week's angle. Mm. Um Dave, Tom, have, you, have either of you got a letter? I've got a letter. Uh, dear Garden Sessions, thank you for the re- uh, report on Knock and Gorick, which we enjoyed. We were happy with it all, except um, what was also the only downside for us, which was the hold-ups at the gate. We are aware that the entrance system in May was not satisfactory, and we are very sorry to all our visitors who may have suffered as a result. Uh, we sold out for the first time and we're just not fully prepared for the consequences. Rest assured that in September, we are streamlining the system, removing the lists and... Uh, training increasing numbers of our box office staff to ensure it does not happen again. We do have a particularly unique location that comes with its own set of challenges. However, we are completely committed to ensuring that this location and its challenges add to a positive festival experience, not detract from it. Cheers, that's from Catriona Holmes, um, who is responsible for manager, managing uh, Knock and Gorick. Uh, Which we should be looking forward to going to the hearth in September. Indeed. That's a letters bag, and um, moving on with uh, another tune now. That this is from the new album dedicated to space. From Marcus Moon, who you've heard before in the garden sessions. It's a healing song about a goat, I believe, and it's called Rhythmic Sun. Sun by Marcus Moon. Any goats um, you're listening must be healed. <laughs> yeah, any any ailing goats will be well healed um, with this harmonies there supplied, I believe, by Marika of Rallying, um, who we heard, who we heard earlier on in the show. Uh, Dave, what's coming up next? 
Well, it's just about time for the featured artist, who this time round is Fraser Fifield, and I believe, Tom, you caught up with him yeah. at the Ke- Hebridean Celtic Festival in Stornoway a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's the Friday morning of the festival, and I'm in the festival office here at the Hebridean Celtic Festival um, here in Stornoway, um, and I'm joined by low whistle player, um, soprano saxophone player and bagpipe player Fraser Fivefield, who's this week's featured artist in the garden sessions fresh or maybe not so fresh from uh, opening the um, event in the opening concert which was called Dak Egg um, in the fabulous Anne Lantier venue you'll have to excuse my Gaelic I've been told it sounds a bit like Elvish <laughs> Fraser welcome to the garden sessions thanks a lot Tom lovely to be here um, so last night's concert celebrated the work of a renowned Gaelic poet, Murdo McFarlane. Uh, how did you become involved in this project? Tell us a wee bit more about it. Um, well, I've played at Atlanta a couple of times, uh, a few, good few times over the years, and uh, um, I, I know Alex MacDonald, who, who um, books the events there, and uh, and uh, I think she, that's a project that she's had in mind for a wee while, and um, she asked me to be p- part of the of the band to to accompany. The, the, the singers in the event uh, and additionally separate to that um, they're going to make a, a, a CD um, of special arrangements uh, of Murder McFarlane's work and uh, she asked me to to produce one of those pieces um, so it's kind of a two reasons going on. It was a fantastic concert I very much enjoyed it. I understand you've got a couple of tunes to play for us um, the first of these is going to be called uh, Willie Murray's Reel um, and the Cockerel in, in the Creel. Uh, why have you chosen to play these tunes for us today and, and what, what do they signify for you? Um, there are two pipe reels. Um, I'm a piper, as, as you say, and uh, they're, they're traditional tunes. Uh, I play them on the whistle. Uh, they're straightforward. Um, I, I love playing them. Um, I guess I play them in a, kind of a slightly freer way than, than a lot of pipers do um, than I used to. So, here we go. They sound a bit like this.
real and the cockerel in the cradle. Now, Hebridean Celtic Festival aside, um, you've performed with Salsa Celtica and also with your own band, the Fraser Fivefield Band. Mm -hmm. um, how's that project going and, and what's, what's upcoming for the Fraser Fivefield Band? Uh, it's, it's going great. Um, tomorrow morning uh, is, is, is fresh in my mind. Uh, we're uh, a long drive to Wales, playing a, a little festival down there. Oh, right. It's called the Small Nations Festival. Mm -hmm. uh, small nations like ours in Scotland, mm -hmm. uh, Ireland, Wales, no doubt, some others. And uh, in the longer term, um, there's an exciting project coming up um, uh, next year. With, um, my band uh, playing along, touring alongside a, a Bulgarian band oh, right. led by a guy called uh, Nijalko Nijalkov. He's a Kaval player. Mm -hmm. And uh, so ah, you were telling me about the Caval uh, yeah, last night. Yeah, it's, in been a, instrument. it's been a passion of mine for a, a few years. Um, in fact, I've got one in my bag here. I could give you a wee blow in a minute if you like. Um, uh, so that's that's going to be happening, and, uh, and some collaboration between the, the two and um, uh, Nijalko and uh, Georgi Petrov, who's a, a gadulka player, mm -hmm. which is a kind of a spiked fiddle. Uh, Playing up the way, oh. I'm, <laughs> I'm showing you what it looks like. You can't, you can't <laughs> see that on the radio. But radio. No, it doesn't. <laughs> do that, but, uh, so they're going to um, guest on on an album that I'm going to make uh, with this new band of mine uh, sometime later this year. Sounds good. So I believe you're going to play a sound with a uh, with lament for the children. Um, mm. Tell us a wee bit about this this tune. Um, this is a very very old tune from the 1500s. Oh, wow. uh, it's a pibroch tune. Uh, uh, Pibroch being the classical music of the, the bagpipes, mm -hmm. so-called. Um, uh, slow melodies, um, theme and variations, often quite hard for people to get into. Uh, it's not a, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the music you hear at the, at the, stuck at the far end of the Highland Games Park oh, yeah. uh, with, you know, a couple of grannies doing their knitting. <laughs> um, but, yeah, um, d despite all that, there are some beautiful melodies in the, in, in the repertoire and mm -hmm. uh, when you when you play them on different instruments and uh, maybe add different harmonies to it, um, it can bring the whole mm -hmm. thing into a different life. So what are you going to be playing this one on? This I'm going to play it on soprano, soprano here. Sax. Yeah. So that'll be interesting as well. Thanks very much for joining us in the garden sessions. Uh, uh, pleasure, Tom. Yeah. Uh, and I know you're heading away tomorrow, so enjoy the last night of the festival. Cheers, man. Thank you very Cheers. much.
nice feature draft system. Fraser Fifield. A coup for the guard. Respect sessions. that he had so much puff to be able to play his, his wind instruments <laughs> at that uh, that early hour in the morning. It was ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good show. I'm amazed that you managed to get up as well. For that. <laughs> <laughs> as you say, if you send a seasoned alcoholic to, <laughs> to these festivals, they'll, they'll, they'll manage to put in the hard yards. This is know? the conversation we were just having off mic, but it seems to have transferred over nice <laughs> this. <laughs> Sounds like a good festival as well. Oh, yeah, it was a, it's a beast of a festival. Hopefully one of you two will take it on next year while I'm on my folk odyssey. I think it's Angle's turn to, to take on a festival. You'll get yes. eaten alive, Angle. Well, <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm a bit apprehensive, but hopefully I shall make it along. <laughs> make it along. That's not the jingle I meant to put on. This In one the, piece. I think this was the one I meant to put on. Podcast! <laughs> <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Staggering to the finishing line. <laughs> we did so well up until this uh, point. Well, so well, I don't know. But we did just so you, well. You kept it together, Jack. <laughs> I did. Mm. Okay. Um, the, well, that's the garden sessions for another week. And uh, when I say week, I do mean a week. Because in a week from now, it's going to be another garden sessions. And guess what? A week from then, another garden sessions. A week from then... Another garden sessions. We're just spoiling you all. Then, yeah, it just keeps going. We have five shows in a row, week after week, for the festival, Edinburgh Festival. With the Burkett Master thrown in, for good measure. Our next week's show, you can expect to hear coverage from David Farrar, David Lutz and Jill Bowman, um, as well as all the usual features, which are, Tom? Uh, Foggy News, Dave's Angle, the official garden sessions download chart, the letters bag, um, and we'll have festival features as well as all the best new songwriting and traditional folk music. Contact us at podcast at gardensessions.co.uk and the website is gardensessions.co.uk. From myself, Jack Foster, Tom Harlan, Dave Angles Gimble, take it easy. Catch you later down the folky trail. Cheerio. Mm-hmm.